one last event to come here. It's the final of the women's 100 metres. We've lost Daphne Skiffers, who should have been in lane two. But we still have what I think is one of the best fields ever assembled. Yes, we've still got seven women. Such a shame for Daphne Skippers of the Netherlands. She'll have to uh, watch this one from the stands. But yeah, an exciting final in prospect. Hello, she looked invincible, didn't she? She looked great. She gets out from the blocks, but she's not going to have it her own way. Elaine Thompson, she's going to go in the middle lane. There we see her, just limbering up. It's a big one for them all. Shelly Ann Fraser Price. Can she replicate what we've seen her do already once this evening? We saw her do it yesterday in the heats. Dina Asher Smith, what can she bring to the table? This is it. It's showtime. One last moment of drama tonight. The women's 100 metres. World Championship final. Double Olympic champion Shelly Ann Fraser Price. Double Olympic champion Elaine Thompson. Marie Jose Tarlu. She looked brilliant in the heats and in the semis. One of two very talented Ivory Coast athletes. Muriel Ahore is the second. There's Thompson. Nowhere near as fast as Shelly Ann Fraser Price or Tarlu in the heats or the semis as the Olympic champion kept her powder dry. Tarlu is a real pocket rocket and a force to be reckoned with now. Fourth in the one and the two in Rio, silver in the one and the two in London. Could she go one better and deny the two Jamaicans the gold? Dina Asher Smith has already made history by becoming the first British woman into a World Championship 100 metre final. She's been in blistering form this season. Could she get on the podium? Could she challenge for the gold? Qualification, very impressive in the semis, 10.87. But Fraser Price, arguably the favourite on what we've seen so far. 10.80 in the heat, 10.81 in the semis. She looked so good and so effortless. Has she got the energy to produce that kind of time or faster for a third time? Johnny L. Smith, Central American and Caribbean champion, came through really late in her semi-final. What an occasion this is for the 23-year-old. Yet to go inside 11 seconds. That, you suspect, will have to change today if she's to get in the mix with her two compatriots. Because let's not forget... Thompson and Fraser Price are the joint fourth fastest women in history. Jenny Meadows, bronze medalist in Berlin over the 800 ten years ago. A lot of excitement in Britain about Dina Asher Smith. It has been the best season of her career. Has she got what it takes to get down to low 10 eights? Because that might be what's needed to win. I think it is what's going to be needed. I think Dina looked better. She looked better this evening in the semi-final. She's been the world junior champion. That was five years ago now. She's dominated on the European scene, winning two medals, the 100, the 200, and the addition of the 4 by one So she is the triple European champion. But she doesn't want to be the European champion. She wants to try to get on the shoulders of these girls. She wants to get ahead of them, whether she can or not, in the form that we think Shelly Ann Fraser Price is in. Elaine Thompson looks good as well. Dina has beaten these girls this year, but at the same time, they've beaten her also. It's just one of those mouth-watering finals, and I just can't wait to find out. Fraser Price is now a mother. She's still running at the very peak of her powers. World champion 10 years ago when Usain Bolt broke the world record. Her longevity is utterly breathtaking. Olympic champion in Beijing, Olympic champion in London. The climax of day three is almost upon us. Wherever you're watching this in the world, whatever time zone you're on, stay with us. This could be very, very special.
Prana, surely only a 100 meters can generate. A spine tingling sense of anticipation here in the Khalifa International Stadium. It's one of the all time great lineups. Fraser Price against Thompson, a great friend, countrywoman, and rival. Against Tina Asher Smith, the European champion. Against two supremely talented Ivory Coast athletes. Please welcome in lane number nine, the Central American and Caribbean Games champion last year from Jamaica. Johnny L. Johnny L. Smith, L. Smith, Central American and Caribbean champion. One of the youngest in the field. What an occasion in and what a moment for three, her. The, US champion, the surprise Tiana US champion Daniels. this year. Could Tiana Daniels break her personal best and break Jamaican hearts? In lane number eight from the Ivory Coast, the world indoor champion. The first champion, of two brilliant Muriel Ivory Coast Ahore. athletes. World indoor champion Muriel Ahore, season's best in the semi. She's coming back to form. In lane four, also from the Ivory Coast, Marie the world Jose Talou, 10.85 and 10.87 in qualification. Silver in London, could she upgrade to gold here in Doha? The European champion, year, the winner of the Asher Diamond Smith. Trophy, Great Britain's Dina Asher-Smith. No one from her nation has ever won a medal in this event. This is her big chance. From Jamaica, she won the Olympic sprint double in The Rio. double Olympic Elaine champion, Thompson. Elaine Thompson, the joint fourth fastest woman in history. And in lane number six from Jamaica, three times the world Alongside champion, her countrywoman. Three times a world champion, double Olympic champion, Shelly Ann Fraser Price has looked phenomenal in the heats and in the semis. Can she deliver here once again as she did in Berlin, as she did in Moscow, as she did in Beijing? world-class drama that only athletics can provide in this spine-tingling context. Thompson. Daniels in three, Talu in Fraser four, Price. Thompson in five, Asher Fraser Price Ahure. six, Asher Smith and seven, Smith. Ahure the eight, Smith in nine. 100 meters. 11 so seconds to justify a lifetime of work. The 2019 Women's 100 meters World Championship oh, no. Final. It's a clean start, there's a roar from the crowd. Shelly Ann Fraser Price gets a good start. Dina Asher Smith going well. Fraser Price is going to get there. What a performance. Fraser Price and it's silver for Dina Asher Smith. I think Marie Jose Tarlou may have taken the bronze. 10.71. One of the fastest times we've ever seen from any woman in any stadium at any venue. And Fraser Price was not to be denied. Another gold. Her legacy as one of the all-time greats is surely complete. She's the world champion once again. What a silver medal for Asher Smith. And it's another global podium for Talu. Bronze this time. And Thompson, the Olympic champion, was run out of it. What a race. Shelley Ann Fraser Price showed us the heat, the semi, the final that she is the greatest female sprinter in the world right now. So, so happy for Dina Asher-Smith there. She's really come of age during this championships, improving her own personal best and national record, taking that down to 10.83 seconds. That was the race we wanted to see here this evening. It promised so much. Talu. 
10.90 in third. Elaine Thompson, well under that 11 second barrier, 10.93. Almost unheard of that 10.93 seconds would not get a medal here at the World Athletics Championships. Well, we're looking there from the start. There wasn't much between them, but Shelly Ann Fraser Price just gets into a stride so much faster than the rest. Halu started well, but this is where Dina Rasha Smith really comes into her own. We expect her to go over the 200 meters, of course. She came through the last half of the race. A mark of how good that run was from Shelly Ann Fraser Price. Only three other women in history have ever run faster than what we've just witnessed here in Doha tonight. And let's not forget, she's come back from having a son. What a journey. Still at the top, still hungry, and still delivering unprecedented success. She is already one of the all-time greats. And by winning a fourth world title, she's taken her career to such a height we may never see her achievements scaled by somebody else. A decade of dominance in an event so brutal. Yeah, she's in a different phase of her career now. She's not the youthful athlete that she was a decade ago. She's a mother, as you say, but she's saying that being a mother is actually helping her enjoy her sport. But let's look at this from a different angle. Again, it's just from five metres out. She just accelerates between five metres and the halfway mark. Then she just holds her advantage over Dina Asher-Smith. Fantastic images. We've just seen Christian Taylor make his fourth Olympic gold medal, World Championship medal, um, and Shelly Ann Fraser Price has just replicated that. Fantastic, fantastic achievement. Hers is an ability we should savour and remember because her name has been etched in athletics history once again. Shelly Ann Fraser Price has become the world champion over 100 metres for the fourth time. A decade after her first world title, 11 years after the first of her two Olympic gold medals. An amazing performance. Let's talk about the silver and bronze medalists. I know we have to be neutral, we're British and we do try and take a global perspective here. What a wonderful, wonderful performance from the European champion, Dina Asher-Smith with a new PB and therefore a new national record, 10.83, another occasion where an athlete has delivered a lifetime best in a final, not good enough to beat Fraser Price. That was an outstanding piece of sprinting and she richly deserves her moment on the podium. She does. She looked nervous for me yesterday in the heats and we saw a visual of her in the block cam and she was actually shaking a little bit. Oh, and these are great scenes as well. This is Shelly Ann Fraser Price's little two-year-old. I wonder how much they'll remember of this. Maybe not much. But yeah, it was fantastic for Dina to get that silver medal. I think it's just going to show a lot of people around the world that if you can keep working hard, you can get up with some of the best athletes in the world. But she will have been inspired. A decade ago, she'd have been sat at home watching Shelly Ann Fraser Price from the comfort of her living room, hoping that one day she could just get here amongst it. And if there's anyone in that situation, sat at home, just keep working hard, maybe you two one day could be here. Well, these women are superb role models for young girls watching around the world. You can be a mum and you can return to your chosen profession, even if your chosen profession is one born out of huge pressure on a global stage. Her son Zion, hopefully, well, he's not going to remember anything of this, but my goodness me, he's going to be shown some photos. A wonderful occasion for Shelly Ann. And I, I just wonder, the fact that she is sharing it with her son, maybe this one will mean more than Daegu, uh, sorry, more than Moscow, more than Beijing and more than Berlin 10 years ago. Shelly Ann Fraser Price becomes a four-time world champion over 100 metres. 
Dina Asher-Smith delivers the race of her life with another national record, 1083, the silver, the first medal of any colour by a British woman in the 100. And Marie-José Talou follows up silver two years ago with bronze this time in Doha.